The truth is, we grow in the difficult times. That's when we find confidence and courage and charisma that we didn't even know we had. Life goes on. I have watched people allow failure in their life. Now I'm not saying that failure doesn't exist because failure is part of the game. Now those people allow failure in their life and failure put fear in them. When a person has fear, they are scared of everything. They are scared to be alone. They are scared to walk alone. They are scared to do something alone. Have no fucking fear. There is a war going on. Truth against lies, light against darkness, good against evil. I'm talking about the war that is going on in your head. All the noises around you, all the voices inside your head. I know what is that feels like and I know sometimes it's hard to talk about it. Sometimes it's hard to explain. It's hard to describe. Now I'm saying that because I've been there. Put yourself on something bigger. When things start to go easy, don't go with it. Find new ways, find new challenges and challenge yourself. And my challenge is, don't just go through it, but grow through it. Have new experience, have knowledge. When you get out of that situation, you become powerful, you become better and stronger. And be decisive. Say, I'm gonna do it and that's it. I'm challenging myself. Learn how to challenge yourself. Learn how to control yourself. And be disciplined about getting it done. Every day, every single day, whether you feel like it or not. See, one of the most important thing in life is discipline. And people questioning why discipline is hard to maintain it's hard to maintain because it's hard to maintain that's it it is hard to maintain discipline is hard and I don't care who you are I don't care where you come from I don't care about none of that if you don't have discipline you're nobody you're nothing see discipline is not just make you successful by make you happy in life it works if you're working hard see work hard get things done you gotta decide that you're going to start working on your dreams and don't let anything hold you back please now there will be people that will criticize you. There will be people that won't see it for you. You can't see them now. You know why? Because you're not doing anything. The day that you decide that you're going to start doing something bigger, something they never thought you can do, those people are gonna show up and you will recognize who is your friend who is not. If you can see these people, one day you will. But first, you gotta start doing something. But don't let those people hold you down. Don't let these people turn you around. Cause they will. They gonna try to turn you around. But don't let them hold you down. And don't be emotional. 
Don't get emotional when people turn on you. People will turn on you one day. People will get busy and not be there when you need them. People cannot take responsibility for you. Sometimes we feel like our friends or our family supposed to help us, but that's just not realistic because we have the real responsibility. We gotta take the real responsibility our problems. You know, they cannot come home and work on you for two or three hours. This is not fair. If you lose, lose. There is nothing wrong with that. And it doesn't matter what you got going on. Now you know what is losing looks like. Now you know what is losing feels like. Now you have experience. Work harder, work smart, and work faster than everybody else. And go get it. Go get that shit. It's easy to live with a victim mentality. People that do us wrong. You say you are lucky, but you don't really work on yourself. You don't really work hard. You wanna laugh, wait, but you escape gym. You want your dreams become true, but you spend zero time, you spend no time working on your dreams because of your excuses. And your excuses are, I don't have time, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And when, when are you gonna start working on your dreams? Every season that we are going through, every season that we have been through, every season of our lives is a part of the process. Whatever you're working on, whatever you want to accomplish, whatever you do, wherever you want to go, it's going to take more than you thought. It's going to take more time. It's going to take more work. It's going to take more power and energy. It's going to take more money and more investment. It's just gonna take more and more and more than your thoughts. So, the question is, do you have what it takes? Do you have more? Do you have more time? Do you have more energy and more power? And now you're questioning, and your question is, why didn't you ask me about money? if I have enough money? And the answer is, you gotta make money, not me. For every struggle in your life, there is a strategy. You didn't get there, right? I said, for every struggle in your life, there is a strategy. Now, what does that mean exactly? That means there is happiness waiting for you after you struggle. That means there is a winner after every fight. And who will win that fight? 
Who's gonna win that fight? The one who worked hard and smart than the other one. Have faith. I say it again. Have faith. Because if you are holding on to things, if you are holding on to excuses, if you are holding on to fear, then there's no faith. And here we you gotta show up. Cause excuses are for show. You will not do it. Cause now you have excuses. And fear will make you scared. Will make you scared of working alone. Will make you scared of doing something alone. Everything you do you doubt it and you will start living in doubt